What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about the conceptual designing, about massing. So last video, we have created our conceptual mass. So in this video, we are going to convert the massing shapes that we have created last time to building components. Okay, so the first thing that we'll be doing, we're going to create a mass floor. Okay, so to create a mass floor, so I'm going to select the mass and then after that from the modify mass you can see here model panel and then there's our mass floor. So we're going to create a mass floor at each level defined for a mass. So let's say for example I'm going to create from level 2 up to level 10. So that's the mass floor that I'll be creating. So I'm going to select mass floors, click that one. And then from the mass floors, I'm going to select 2 and then hold the shift and then click level 10 to select at once. And then after that, click the square here to tick it. Okay? Just check 2 to 10. Alright? And then after that, just select OK. And there you go. So just click outside. So there's now your mass floors. So if you're going to hover your pointer... Do not click. Just hover your pointer to one of the mass floor and then press tab once. So it's now highlighting the mass floor. I'm going to click this level 2 mass floor. And then by doing that, if you're going to check the properties, you can see the dimension of that. So you can see here the floor perimeter area, exterior surface area, floor volume, and then the level. Okay, so this is kind of one of the question back in the Revit Architecture Certified Professional Examination before. So yeah, so that's how you check the dimension of your mass floor. You just need to hover. So let's say it asks you to check the level 5. So this is level 5. So hover your pointer to that mass floor and then press tab once. And then, and then once you see it highlights, so just click that and then check the properties. All right. So the next thing that I'll be doing is I'm going to open the east elevation. So I'm going to create this time a floor. Okay. So I'm going to convert the mass floor to building components floor. Okay. So let me go to the project browser and then from the elevation, I'm going to open the east elevation. Just double click that. All right. And then after that, here on the massing inside, you can see here model by face. So here, one of the option is floor by face. So it converts a mass floor into a floor of the building model. So before you can use the floor by face tool, you must select the mass and use the mass floor tool to create mass floor. Okay, so I'll be selecting floor by face. And then, as you can see here, it says uh, multiple uh, select. Okay, so I'm going to click now the floor here. By the way, there is also an offset distance here. So I'm going to change the offset distance. I'm going to make it like uh, 300 mm offset. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to uh, click this level 2. Level 3 up to level uh, 10, right? So don't worry. By default, it's select multiple. So you can click multiple uh, mass floor. All right. So after you select, just select here, create floor. And that's it. And then just click here, 3D view. And this is now how it looks like. So you just converted your mass floor to a wall, uh, into a uh, floor building component. And also there is an offset of 300 mm there, right? So that will going to be the placement of our wall. So there's the offset of 300 mm. So anyway, so that's how you do it. So we just converted our mass floor to a uh, floor. Now, the next thing that we will be doing, so let's convert the mass faces to roof. 
Okay, so let's say for example, this face here, this will gonna be our roof and also this uh, face here. So that will gonna be our roof. So let's do this. So from the massing insight, again, from the model by face, there's a roof here. So you click the roof. Okay, and then you can also check the properties here of the roof that you will be creating. So instead of uh, slope glazing, you can click the drop down arrow and then you can select other options here, right? So let's say I'll be using a generic 400 mm. So I'm going to select this one. Okay, and then we are now ready to select again multiple elements. So I'm going to select this face here, one and also this face here too. There you go. And then after that, create roof. And there you have it. Okay, so while our roof by face is still activated, I'm going to change the type here. Instead, I'm gonna select here, this time sloped glazing. So I'm gonna click this. So I want to select this face here. There you go. And then after that, create roof. And there you have it. And then after that, just select here, modify. Okay. Right. So you can actually select this if you want to modify this uh, slope glazing. You can modify this. You can um, edit type if you want. You can go to edit type. And then you can modify the properties here of that uh, particular uh, sloped glazing. Okay, now I'm going to close this one and then select here modify to terminate. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to select curtain system. So curtain system by face. So it creates a curtain system on the face of a mass or generic model so I am going to select this and then I'm going to select here edit type to create a new type of this curtain system so currently we have here two types so we have 1000 by one uh, 1500 by 1500 the other one is 1500 by 3000 mm okay so I'm actually going to use 1,500 by 1,500 here, but it's already created. So no need for me to create a new one. But if ever you want to create a new type of curtain system, just select here, edit type, and then just duplicate it. So let's say you are looking for 2,000 by 2,000, and then there is no 2,000 by 2,000 type. So you can click duplicate and then specify the name, for example, 2000 by uh, 2000 and then after that select here ok and then you select here the spacing for the grid 1 so you change that to 2000 and then same with grid 2 change that to 2000 so that's it and then just select ok so after that you now have that type okay but for this exercise I'll just select here 1500 by 1500 Again, uh, multiple selection, make sure it's select multiple, it's turned on. So we are going to uh, specify now our uh, curtain system. So let's say I'm going to click this space here, this one, and then orbit your model. I'm going to click this space as well. There you go. And then orbit your model. I'm going to select this face here. Click. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to, maybe I'm going to select this one as well. This one, this one, and then this one. All right, and then after that, just select here, create system. And there you go, there you go, there you go. And then you can select here, modify. Okay, so now the next thing that we will be doing here is we are going to convert the mass faces to solid walls and curtain walls. So as you can see, so we still have some faces here, right? So we are going to convert this face to solid walls and some to curtain wall. Okay, so to do that, again, from the massing inside, model by face, 
I'm going to select here wall. Okay, so wall by paste, click that one, and then you can change the type here. If you want, you can click the drop down arrow, and then you can see here the different types of uh, wall that you can uh, use to apply to the face of the mask. Okay, so for this one, I'll just use this one, uh, exterior brick on metal stud. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to select now this face here. So this face, that one. So as you can see, it's now converted. This one as well. There you go. This one. And also this face here. That one. And for this side, I'm going to change the type here. I'm going to change that to, do I have here a curtain wall? Okay, so I'll be using here uh, storefront. So I'm going to select the type storefront. So I want to select this face here, that face, and also this face here. And there you have it. All right. Okay. Okay, so let me just convert another one. So I think I haven't converted this face yet. Click. There you go. Maybe this face as well. There you go. And there you have it. Or I'm going to apply another storefront to this space here. And also this space here. All right. Okay. And then I'll just select here modify. Okay, so now the next thing that I'll be doing, I'm going to hide now the the mass. So as you can see here on the con conceptual mass, show mass is still activated. So I'm going to turn that off. There you go. So that I can only see the building components. Okay, so that's how you convert your mass, your massing shape to building components. So it's not that difficult. So after you create your massing so you can convert that to building components just like this one so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day